our next panelist who I'm going to introduce you to here is also another another woman who I've known for years and I've seen grow as an entrepreneur, as an international entrepreneur. Uh, her name's Elena and she is right now expanding her business into the Latin American, the Spanish speaking markets. Uh, her background is also with some traditional business that she's done, but she, she had a different situation. She wasn't just burned out on the phones. She actually got sick and she could no longer travel and do the things that she would have to do in her traditional business world. So she had to turn to the internet and she has found, as Carla was talking about, ways to drive thousands of visitors, thousands of people looking uh, at your website, your content. She's found ways to do that very inexpensively. Uh, obviously, this is a topic we could talk about for hours and hours and hours, but I'd like for Elena, if you would come out here and just give us a little taste of some of your strategies and tactics, what you do to grow your business, not only here in the, the English-speaking portion of our marketplace, but also now uh, expanding into new markets in different languages. How is that working for you, Elena? Okay. Well, it is uh, to answer your question. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And, um, and Carla Silver and Don Silver did a really great presentation there. And Tony, uh, hello. And uh, it's working really well, to answer the question. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm building a business in 140 countries, right? Two languages, English and Spanish. And if I want it because of this information, I can actually even build the business in different languages, right? And uh, that's a beautiful thing because... Uh, what I am doing, and as you said, for me it was um, it was as uh, say in English, uh, necessity is the mother of all inventions, right? So for me, it was no other way than the internet. As you mentioned, I was very sick. I needed to find customers online, wherever they were. And what I found very very quickly in my career online is that we all know someone that is in social media, right? Either we know we are on Facebook or we know someone that is on Facebook. Either we are on YouTube or we know somebody that is on YouTube. My point is um, everybody is using social media today. Everybody is watching videos. They prefer to watch videos than actually read text, right, or books. I see a whole bunch of books in your bookshelves, right? But uh, the reality is uh, people these days, they just want to watch videos. and. Um, so what I did very early in, in, in internet marketing, and, uh, and I actually applied these principles to different kinds of business. It was, uh, for example, personal development, the same thing I applied to a company in uh, the energy industry, same exact principles applied to health and wellness, coffee, you name it. And that's why we have people from all kinds of companies here, all kinds of you know, traditional businesses from doctors, chiropractors, and hairdressers, all the way to, you know, all kinds of, uh, all, all kinds of businesses and doctors, etc. But anyways, as I was mentioning, the same thing applies to any business. What is it? Okay, simple. It's the use of videos in YouTube or any other platform, but YouTube is the one that people use the most, combined with uh, two or three other social media sites. So, I mean, as you mentioned, we can go on and on and on for hours on this topic, right? But uh, in a nutshell, I give you a couple of tips that you can use today. Um, you can just upload a video in your market, in your niche market. Choose one topic. Bring value in a video to your audience, okay? Whatever market you are, and if you don't know, you're not the expert, it doesn't matter, bring experts. You're, a fa you're in the fashion industry, bring a few fashion designers from your town or from across the globe, it doesn't matter. Make it entertaining, make it fun. People like to see things that are entertaining. Do a hangout, interview those people. Interview them, you know, show them how to do something in your market. Do not pitch your product. What you want to do, I find, right, that is very powerful, is that you want to show people how to do something with your product and then they buy your product and they buy it very quickly, very easily, with no pressure. It is a beautiful thing. So not only social media, it's great uh, for acquiring customers. I get customers every single day from social media, especially videos, and that's what I talk about videos today so much, especially videos. 
not only is great to bring customers there, it's great to convert those customers, right? There are plenty of things that you can do in social media, but something as simple as creating, you know, creating momentum with a, you know, with a Google Hangout or just a regular video, just for you guys to know, Google prefer Hangouts as opposed to regular videos. So that's what I, you know, insist on Hangouts. And how am I doing right now, building people, you know, bringing people from all over the world, customers everywhere? I do Hangouts every day, and very quickly, or, or long, it doesn't matter, but I create value for people. I teach them how to do the very things that they need so that they come and they buy products. It's very easy. So you use your keywords, something as simple. And for that, we have the products, right, John? For that, we have plenty of information in the product. People come here, they learn the education all at once. But just to give you an example, you can put your keywords in your titles, in your videos. What is the keyword? We all know. It's something that people put, put in Google where you preferably would like to be on the first page. So you sell, I don't know, you sell, give me an example, a white paper, <laughs> okay? Your keyword might be, who makes the best white paper in, in whatever you want, right? Or online. And uh, so just to give you a silly example, well, right? Well, Lena, let me ask you. I'll, I'll, give you um, I'll give you an example, one that's, uh, one that's we can, a lot of us can relate to, is I've got a, a professional service, or, or maybe I'm an author, okay? Uh, in my case, I am. And so I'm in the uh, personal growth, uh, philosophy, psychology, in that niche, okay? So... What sort of a keyword would somebody who's looking for that sort of a, a product or service, what, what might they go and type into Google when uh, they're looking to improve their, their, their life, their confidence, their ability to make money? Give us some ideas. Well, yesterday I was talking to someone right on that same topic, and we talk about confidence, how most people would love to build more confidence, right? And uh, they can go to Google and type best book on confidence or how to build confidence quickly or things like that, right? Just to give you an example, it's one of your topics, let's say, right? Let's suppose. And um, so then you show up. And you show up, why? Because you are dominating the first page in Google. So you're dominating. There, there is no other way to go, right? By the middle of the first page, they are hooked. They are going with you. Why? Because you are familiar. They trust you. They trust you because you're in a few places. And they click and they watch a video and they get a little bit of value, not a lot, a little bit, so that they want to buy from you. Then you have the link. Let's tie it into what Carla was saying before. The lead capture page, right? It's there. Capturing the lead right away. Put your email. And then we will entice you to get something amazing very quickly, right? You word it the way you want. We have plenty of trainings for that. People put their email addresses there. Where do you want your website? In your video. You are creating value. You are telling that to people. Tell people right away. You know, not right away. In your video and under your video. Your keywords should be also in the meta tags, in the tags under the video, in the descriptions, etc. And put it in your blog. And send it to your list. And then do a retargeting campaign. And we talk about that in another conversation, right? Retargeting done properly. What is it? You will learn in the trainings, but it's absolutely that combination. It's most of it is free. It's you know very effective. We, I have some people on Saturday in some of our trainings, right? Saturday we do we did something in their video with the blog. Sunday that person was on first page in Google, and uh, so you know results speak for themselves, right? Doesn't matter what you market. You just have to be, and uh, you have to have the intention. What is it that you want to market? You want to go on the first page for what? Who do you want to attract? That's the biggest part. Once that is defined, just, you know, do what I'm saying today, and that little thing can bring wonders to your business. And, of course, we're going to talk a lot more about that, right, in the next uh, trainings. But um, I don't know, John, if you want to ask me another question about this, but just connect your videos to your social media, that alone in just a few weeks, uh, we were talking about me being, right, needing it. Few weeks, I was on top of the world, crushing the competition so quickly. 
and as I mentioned, all this time has been same principles applied, and that has worked really well to answer your question. You know, Elena, that's that's great, and I think for a lot of our uh, people who are just meeting us for the first time, people who may not know what you, you mentioned, a meta tag, and in the description of the video, some people may not have ever posted a video to YouTube ever, despite the fact that it's something like uh, you know 10,000 years <laughs> worth of video footage is posted to YouTube like every 25 seconds or something. But uh, so it can be, it can seem overwhelming. But what you just described is actually quite simple. You do it a couple of times, and then you can do it in your sleep. So what you're basically saying is that right now, in fact, we're demonstrating this right now. If people can see, there's probably a little Google Plus uh, logo in the top corner of this video somewhere, a little watermark. And, uh, and, and so where are we hosting this? We're, we're reaching thousands and thousands of people right now for free, for free, using a platform that Google provides called a Hangout is what they call it. It interfaces directly with YouTube, same company, Google owns YouTube, and then based on whatever happens on these Hangouts, you can say here's the title, this is what it's about, here's the description, in the description is a clickable link to the sales funnel, uh, like Carla had mentioned, right, here's the, uh, the place where people can opt in, get more information, get the free report, get the, the bonus material, whatever it happens to be, right, and all of that happens for free, essentially, on Google slash YouTube. Okay, once you get into like tagging and, and this sort of thing, again, we're going to be getting into uh, a lot of that. Once we get into the internet traffic formula, the real content, the meat, we just want to give you a couple ideas here today on these sort of preview videos on just a, a couple of the things that have worked for people like myself, uh, Don, Carla, Elena, our next guest who we're going to be bringing out here. Elena, if you could just give us just a little taste on, on what has this meant for you financially. I know you can't promise that you know your results are not the other person's results. Everybody's results are different. Some people make more money than you, some people make less. But uh, in your experience, since you got online, what's been a typical month or your best month so far? Just doing the strategies that you just you just outlined. Well, best uh, week so far has been 49,000 completely online, internet-based. And uh, with these things that we're talking about today, to give you an example, I think today I have about $12,000. So it, it works really well. And uh, with the life, because for business owners, you know, you might have the income, right? But it is so much struggle. So I lived it. I lived it for more than 10 years, right? And uh, so much stress, inventory, and, and all kinds of things. And, uh, but definitely when you bring a business online, regardless of what business it is, and you bring those extra customers that are not the extra customers, are the main volume of customers, um, it is a beautiful thing. This goes straight to the, your bottom line. That's, that's awesome. Congratulations. I mean, more money in a month than, than most Americans make in a whole year. So spectacular stuff. Thank you, Elena. We'll be hearing a lot more from you as the internet traffic formula uh, progresses now.